Wow, I forgot I ever even made this video. The other day I delved deep into the inner recesses of my Joyful Trails hard drive and I discovered an antique piece of content. It's a video from 2020. Yes, I became a digital archaeologist the other day and unearthed a welcome video from back when the idea to start this channel first hit me. So I thought I would share it with you guys, you know, just for fun. Here's a taste. Just what the world needs. Another YouTube channel. Welcome to the inaugural video here at Joyful Trails. I'm your uncompensated amateur volunteer tour guide. I am not a fitness expert. I'm not a cycling guru. None of that. I don't wear Lycra or spandex. It would probably scare women and young children if I did. Now, before we watch the whole thing, we need to roll it back. Rewind a little bit to 2020 because I need to sort of set the stage. Mother's Day 2020. I needed a lift, a pick me up. Ever been there? Knowing how I had always loved riding my bike, I decided to throw the bike on the back of the car and go out of town to ride some bike trails that I had seen on this thing called YouTube. Now this was in the middle of C-19 time, if you'll remember. It was either the most scary, fearful health emergency the world had ever seen, or a worldwide PSYOP, depending on your point of view. Some people think it was both, but I digress. So technically, I think I was supposed to be hunkered down in the condo with two masks on. But I needed to feel the sun on my skin, dang it, and the wind on my face. And frankly, I just needed to get alone with God and figure some things out. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. Is anybody in the house today? So I threw caution to the wind and I hit the road. Now, the plan was to go to Chattanooga, but when I got to Atlanta, all of a sudden I had the thought to turn left instead of right and go to Columbus, Georgia instead. Now, it may have been the still small voice of the Holy Spirit telling me which way to go, or it might have been that leftover baked spaghetti I had consumed the night before. I don't know. See, I was born in Columbus, Georgia. Grew up just across the river in Phoenix City, Alabama. My parents met and married in Phoenix City. My dad pastored a church in Phoenix City. I went to middle and high school in Phoenix City. My grandmother lived in Phoenix City. Some of the best friends of our family still live in Phoenix City right now, which is just across the street from Columbus, Georgia. And I had just lost my mom in 2018, so it kind of, I thought about it for a few minutes, it just made sense to go back home on Mother's Day. Well, I enjoyed my ride on the Chattahoochee River Walk so much. Oh, it was great. Peaceful, so much fun. I decided on a whim while riding that river walk to pull out my iPhone 11 and a gimbal that I just happened to have with me that they don't even make anymore. And I pressed record and got some pretty good video of my ride. I did the same thing about a month later in Augusta, Georgia on the Augusta Canal Trail. And then all of a sudden, the idea hit me for a YouTube channel called Joyful Trails. Anyway, so I recorded a short video to sort of explain the idea, explain the concept behind the idea for the channel, and I just thought it would make sense for that to be the first post on this new YouTube channel called Joyful Trails. Honestly, I don't remember if I ever actually posted this or not. If I did, I'm sure I must have deleted it later on. In fact, this channel started and stopped a couple of times before I finally decided to really focus on it and make a go of it in late January of 2023. Anyway, we can discuss it a little bit after you see it, but first, 
Here it is, the original channel intro video for the Joyful Trails YouTube channel from back in the summer of 2020 for your viewing pleasure. Just what the world needs, another YouTube channel. Welcome to the inaugural video here at Joyful Trails. I'm your uncompensated amateur volunteer tour guide, Scott Bachman. And on this channel, I am going to explore some fun and interesting bicycle paths and trails. Yes, I'll shoot some video while I'm there and then share my findings with you so that you can decide whether it's worth your while to go and use those trails as well. I am not a fitness expert. I'm not a cycling guru. None of that. I don't wear Lycra or spandex. It would probably scare women and young children if I did. I don't wear bicycle costumes. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I have a bicycle helmet. I don't wear it. It's hot. It's funny looking. And I have a big head. Besides, I'm mostly cycling on flat paved surfaces. So I have assessed the danger and I have decided to assume the risk. Lastly, I don't have a high powered expensive bicycle either. It is a Schwinn Willy. They don't even make these anymore. It's only a seven speed and it has an ample comfortable seat to keep my backside happy. Back in the day, this bike would run you $400 right off the showroom floor. I rescued Willie at an estate sale for 40 bucks. So I'm not your typical cyclist. I'm more of an everyman, I guess you would say. But I have loved riding bikes since I was a small child. I enjoyed somewhat of an idyllic upbringing, I think, in the kinds of small towns where everybody knew everybody. You didn't really have to lock your doors and every kid had a bicycle. I rode my bike to school every day in Eufaula, Alabama. I rode it all over town and even on railroad tracks in Evergreen, Alabama. And I learned to ride with no hands standing up going down long hills in Phoenix City, Alabama. I even pretended I was Evil Knievel and jumped ramps constructed of plywood and concrete blocks. Landed flat on my back one time, couldn't breathe for a while, but everything worked out. And no, I wasn't wearing a helmet. I didn't. Nobody had helmets back then. Then when my family went on the road, traveling in full-time ministry for seven years, we of course put bikes on the back of the fifth wheel travel unit, and we rode bicycles all over America and even Canada. And today I live just steps from a highly regarded rail trail in the upstate of South Carolina. And so the journey continues. Now, about the name of this channel, You've heard, I'm sure, the term happy trails. There's a famous song, of course, that says happy trails to you until we meet again. Happiness is good, but happiness comes and goes. Happiness depends on feelings. Happiness is dependent on events and circumstances. Joy is the result of contentment. Now the dictionary will tell you that joy is a feeling of great pleasure or happiness, but that isn't really so. Because you can have joy even in the midst of suffering. Simply put, joy is choosing to respond to external circumstances with inner contentment and satisfaction. So joy is a choice. It's a fruit of the Spirit. So I decided to call this channel Joyful Trails. Besides, there is already a channel called Happy Trails. So we're going to take a cue from Psalm 23, verse 3, that says, He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths, bringing honor to His name. There is something refreshing, restorative, and satisfying about getting outside, feeling the sun and the wind, appreciating nature, having time to think and to pray. 
the kinds of trails that I enjoy are often the ones that offer up just that kind of experience. Get ready. You can even put on a helmet and some spandex if that's your thing. And come along with me as I explore some joyful trails. We'll see you next time. Well, how about that? Let's discuss it briefly. There were a few things that stood out to me. First, I had a snazzy little video opening that I no longer use. You know, the YouTube gurus always say, get right into the content. Don't waste any time. So I don't really have an opening intro video anymore. Secondly, I was really leaning into my faith a lot more overtly at that time. Now, I think it's still there. It's just a little more subtle. I think most people probably assume that I'm a Christian because they've heard me talk about being a preacher's kid. They've heard me imitate preachers. Uh, they've heard me talk about liking... <laughs> they've heard me talk about liking fried chicken. You know, so they probably get the idea that I'm a Christian, but I don't really just like... I don't wear it on my sleeve, but, I, you know, I can't help it coming out. It just kind of comes out every once in a while. Third thing I noticed is that my controversial stance on helmets and spandex was there right from the beginning and hasn't changed. But lastly, how about that bike, huh? That bicycle, the Willy, made by Schwinn, is still on the trails, I'm happy to report. When I bought my Townie Men's 7D Stepover, I handed the Schwinn down to my son. Both bikes, when not out on a trail somewhere, share a room together in my condo. It used to be our dining room, but Paul David and I never used the dining room table, so I sold it and turned our dining room into a bike garage. Hey, don't judge. It's what works for us. So there you go, a little piece of Joyful Trails trivia, nostalgia, if you will, a JT digital artifact from days gone by. I just thought you might enjoy seeing that. By the way, I also uncovered two or three fully edited and produced videos from the summer of 2020 that were to be the first videos on the channel and I don't think ever made it onto YouTube. I don't think they ever saw the light of day. If the mood hits me just right, I may share those sometime in the future. You know, just for giggles. If you're still watching, thank you for indulging me and for enjoying this bonus episode of Joyful Trails. And remember, friends, always be joyful, okay? You can't always be happy. You're never going to always be happy, but you can choose to be joyful. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you later. <laughs>